morning guys welcome to today's video today we are headed out to Sophie's riding lesson I'm excited it's kind of like the group all back together again Gabby's not riding here oh, yeah, and she's coming. not pregnant someone said that Gabby was pregnant hoot hoot Gabby is not pregnant um I've been not commenting on messages but I've been seeing them and I wanted to tell you guys that and I wanted to address a couple of them one someone said that Sophie should see a chiropractor and I'm like why the heck didn't I think of that Sophie is very upset that you suggested that because yeah. now she is seeing a chiropractor never she does not want to go to a chiropractor. I believe in chiropractors. I believe that that's probably what she needs to to do because it's not getting better and it's been a couple of months and I believe I can crack my own neck sometimes. She's afraid she's going to get her neck cracked. I used to go to a chiropractor. Gabby's been, Sam's been, like everybody's been but Sophie. So it's time. It's time for Sophie. So she's going to go. So and then Hoot said that do you really think she knows the horse for Gabby? No, I don't think he's the horse for Gabby. He doesn't want to do the things that she wants to do and we love him to death and regardless of what he can do or not do we want to pursue getting him the best horse that he can be for himself so he's happy and healthy and he's not unhealthy he just he's like Sam so many tiny tiny little issues that don't really mean anything but affect his life affect his life anyways but anyway Moving on. I'm still shooting with the other camera. Still trying to figure it out. I don't love it. I miss my Canon, but, but I'm not going to go out and buy another Canon because there were things that were wrong with that camera too. I just definitely don't understand this camera. The focusing sucks and there's so many things to switch. Like they, there's like, it's, it's not user friendly. It's like professional friendly. You have to switch so many different, there's so many different things that you can change in this camera and all give a different effect. And it's so impossible to, to, to make it exactly the way that I want it. But anyways, we're headed to riding. It's gonna be a reunion of sorts because we're gonna see all of our friends there and some of our new friends. We're making friends. Our friends Barn Boots and Country Roots should be here. Um, Gabby is not riding. Gabby, do you want to ride? Gabby is not riding. Do you still love riding? Do you still like riding? Yes, we still like riding. Oh, another thing I wanted to address, who also said Gabby should be riding Chino whenever the weather is willing. The weather is not willing. <laughs> actually, today is the only day that actually looks good and we might be able to do some riding, but I don't know, I have to see our farm is underwater, our grass is underwater. If we ride up there in areas that we wanna conserve the grass, then we're not able to do it. Like, in winter in Canada, it's really bad. It's not great riding weather, um, but yet yeah, we're going to a barn where they're riding outside. So it just depends on what your environment is like. We could probably go on a trail ride and I think we are definitely planning that, you guys. We're planning, I have actually so many ride. plans. I know, that's the thing. Sophie has nobody to ride, like. No, I'm like, honey or willow. Wow. Well. It would be sad if I left willow out. But it would be sad if I left honey out. So I just have to go. Honey's not really ready to go any place yet. Okay, so our friends have a GoPro and it's the Hero 2 and I brought it to Sam in this case and I said, Sam, well, we don't know. Power, okay, Sam, we don't know how to turn this on. And it's cold. he's like, it's either the top button, the bottom button or the middle button. I'm like, yeah, no, no, no guff. Okay, there's your saddle pad. Does it, your helmet? Does it actually match your helmet? Yeah, I like it. I oh, love yeah, it. Nice. Yeah. Perfect. Hey, yeah, Emma, did you canter last time? I saw the video. I saw you canter for a few minutes. Was it exhilarating? It is so fun. Were you nervous? Like, did it feel like you were going to fall? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you're supposed to say no. <laughs> My brother's going to give a treat to the pig. Oh, Pepper is so cute. Can you see? Oh, do you love her? I do. <laughs> like, I love Pepper. Hi, Pep. Hello, beautiful boy. Is it a boy? <laughs> I forget. I forget all the horses' names. Doesn't have his name on. Mateo. Mateo. We call him Potato. Potato. Mateo. Potato. Yeah, we got something like I've Yeah, there's a huge board <laughs> that I never noticed. There's. Oh, come on. We got to see who you're riding. There's a huge board. I'm noticing a trend, Bobby. Everywhere there you are, there's an animal. <laughs> the 
Hello, pretty princess. Don't touch the fence. Here we go. That was Saffron. We must be related, Emma, because I can't remember either. I don't even know what my favorite one looks like, and I've ridden her a dozen times. We'll ask. Yeah, we'll ask Sam. More treats. Honestly, everywhere I look, there's my brother with a horse. <laughs> Next thing you know, he'll be like kissing the horse. <laughs> oh, you missed it. <laughs> oh, I miss it. I kiss all my horses. My horses are trained to kiss on the lips. I was riding the only boy. You're riding the only boy, Emma. In Canto. This is in Canto. You know what I love about Pasofinos is that they're, they're short backed and it makes them extra sturdy. Kind of like, kind of think like a big, huge board, like a piece of wood, a big, long board, and you step in the middle of it, it's really weak. But if you put a short little board somewhere and you stand on it, it's really sturdy in the middle. So these horses are really good. They can definitely carry closer to the upper limits of, of the weight restrictions for horses, right? Because you're short backed and sturdy. Short backed and sturdy legged. Oh, uh, I can't the saddle just over there on the shoulder. Alright. Are you almost done? The exact stick. Oh, I know Molly does that too. Looks for the exact one. It's a border collie thing. That's a smooth coat border collie. Okay, I know she's today but today I did this thing where I pretended to be a goat and I went bah! and Molly went bonkers it's like <laughs> bread in them she was like got so like focused and was like chasing everything around the house and was like almost aggressive who do I need to herd who can I herd <laughs> Sam wants to teach her to herd Excuse yeah me. listen I just walked in here and I said I know that this is La Roca saddle That's I'm just gonna double use. check this is what I use yeah this it's slippery but it's my yeah. favorite hello little kitty Good boy. Good boy. Oh, wow. So this is the second hoof that she picked up all by herself and she's like really learning them. The morning sun is rising, spreading its light on the bed, shining all that same old spot that's been empty for some time. Are we ready? All right. Want me to turn on your camera? It's okay, time to get up again. already. Can't tie in the girth up again. Okay, hold on. She already did it once. Let me see. She has to have her sassy mare day once. Okay, hold on. Let's just double check, make sure the light comes on. Yep. All right. I think it's good. It's straight hey, across. You want me to get on? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Well, is Julia going first? All right, Julia, are you going first? Um, brother's girlfriend rides and I told her that we're gonna have to come for a ride one day because we can gallop and she hasn't galloped in a really long time and galloping here is so fun like I wish that I could go out there in the field where they're galloping and film it because it's like it is so much fun anyway so we're gonna ride here soon the weather's been amazing I can't even believe this weather I have like no gloves on and it's still warm It's actually so warm in the sun, but freezing in the barn. Freezing if you're not standing in the sun. All the horses are outside in the sun. Oh, <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> she was in the field and she saw us come. Oh, here comes Penny too. <laughs> Let me take a picture. Do you have your phone? 
I want to take a picture of honey every day. <laughs> what is that on you? You got hay. Hay on your nose. Here. Try that. Eat it. You'll like it. Honey is getting fatter still. Hey, Bella, come here. So I have an idea of what I want to do with our horses. I have a plan. I have an activity that I want to do with our horses today, but unfortunately it's not a good day because oh, we went riding like you guys saw. You guys know Macy is old and she's been old and I know that she's on borrowed time and she's been doing really well, but I know it's close. I knew it was close. So we came home from riding today and took her out for a pee and I brought her in and I curled her up with me. I curled her up beside me. I always wrap her in a blanket when she comes in from outside because you guys know chihuahuas are so cold always. So I hate the idea of her being cold, especially because she's old, she's 14. And so I always wrap her up and I wrapped her up in this blanket and I cuddled her up to me and she looked at me as if to say like, I know you're there. But she looked at me and I knew isn't that weird? She just looked right in my eyes and I knew and then she died like so fast. I'm pretty sure her heart gave out. She's so old and she just, <sighs> I know it was her time, but still doesn't make it easier. Like I felt it coming the last few days. Like I just felt it the way like her eyes were different. But then when she looked at me today, when I curled her up and she snuggled into me, I knew it was like close. I just could tell. And then she just passed away quietly and calmly. She didn't even make a sound. Like she just was wonderful. But anyways, so I just wanted to tell you guys that. And we're probably going to do what I had planned tomorrow <laughs> because it's not a good day. I feel like this last, since, I feel like this last whole summer, I feel like the last six months have just been wild. So many different changes that are happening and I just feel like I don't know just crazy things are happening some of them I will update you on probably tomorrow if I remember because I wanted to tell you guys that I wanted to tell you guys that I am taking like a vitamin a d3 supplement with vitamin c and it's helping so much with the dark days she can't step up on this one I don't usually get depressed ever I'm usually pretty even tempered but the dark the last three dark days just made me kind of sad a little bit sad oh, she wants to oh, oh. <laughs> yeah she tried. she tried to do it so that's actually very good so anyways i am taking a supplement and i wanted to tell you somebody mentioned that and i wanted to mention it but and a few other things, but I forget now because <laughs> he's almost as big as her. Yeah, and I don't think she should climb up on it. I know I want just the little ones, but the oh, fact that she, no, the fact that she wants to is good though. <laughs> Your dog is being a unicorn. <sighs> yeah. Okay, back up a bit. She did it! Twice! Back up, back up. Back up. Honey! She's so cute! <laughs> it's funny how, like, when you're sad, you just want to be with your horse. Like, it's the weirdest thing. Like, you just want to be with your horse. Right, Pan? <laughs> She's like, get off of me. <laughs> I try to show the dogs. Macy after she passed oh, because I believe dogs know I believe animals know and I tried to show them she's already become a trick pony. her and the, po and the puppies were like oh, ew get away they knew like they knew I didn't even have to show them to her she's already they become knew a trick but Ru Ruby who is like close with her Macy used to sleep on top of Ruby all the time curl up into her fur <sighs> Ruby sniffed her and sniffed her and sniffed her and then went and hid and all the all the dogs were hiding under Gabby. Anyway, we are officially down to three dogs and I'm okay with that. Three dogs is enough for a family. But rest in peace, Macy girl. I wish I knew how to call me quits. I should know by now how to live without, without
without her Don't you know that you're beautiful